To move well and protect our lower backs, we need core strength control and coordination around four joints. At BT Pilates, to achieve this we use a six-point checklist. Points one to three are about avoiding extremes of movement around the base of the spine. Point four covers the necessary muscle strength, while point five is about being tall, relaxed and attentive to our environment. Point six is about joint flexibility in joints above and below the core. Since Pilates is a thinking workout, for each exercise we will be asking you which core control strategy you think it is. Enjoy! Portable doorstep, heel lowers and raises. This is how we get to meet and greet. If you can put up with a person going smoothly up and down like a ship at the wharf, then you can enjoy meeting and greeting. It's smooth, we make sure we do get the stretch, and smoothly up and we get the strength at the top. And at any moment we can wriggle our toes and curl them into the footstool or grip, with the, grip them into the footstool. Meanwhile, we can shine our persona at the world, our heart, our head, and in the middle is that manubrium. Welcome. Excellent. Stretching, smoothly coming up, strengthening, and smoothly going down. I like to occasionally wiggle my toes. Another 10 seconds and then we shall stand on one leg with the heel off the ground. Now for this I'm going to put the stick down. And the heel's off the ground. There we go. 50 seconds. Heel's just off the ground. Now come up high. 10 seconds. Got your heel lifted. All right, three, two, one. Now points of the compass, you bring your heel down a little if you like. Now it's all the balls of toes are landing. If you get that in a nice light touch, then you've got it. All balls of toes mean you've got to twist your knee around, your hips drop, whatever, whatever works to get all balls of toes down. And because it's just such a light touch there, you've got to work out how to balance the movement through your body. And there we go, that's that one. Over the other side, heel just off the ground. We're just warming into this, just 10 seconds. And we come up for high for 10 seconds, up we come. Now there's all sorts of variations. You could stay high all of the time if you liked. I'll just lower the ankle, it's still a little off the ground. All balls of toes landing down for the front of foot, points of the compass. And we'll sit on the wall now. Toes are up. Can you get your head on the wall? Toes are up, take them up and wide, spread them wide. Let's have a little bit of toe play. Big toes curling down, little toes up. So it like, might look like this. Little big toes down. Now big toes up, little toes down. And now the real cunning one is that they just tilt your feet, so maybe the feet are looking over to your left. Maybe your feet are looking over to your right, or mirror image of me, whatever. And left, and right and left, and right. Place the chair on its side. You've got two options for stepping over the picket fence here. We can go forward. Would you like to just place it like so, but then we can go forward and back. 
I think I'm just going to give myself right there and behind the chair seat. And so we've got a tic-tac-toe going on here, forward, together, to the side, together, forward, together. And well, let's make that the movement. And a very light touch with the foot down, so you just tight, lighter. And this means that the, you will be keeping a really stable lower spine, so that the belt line and the lower spine are close to perpendicular, and at least they're very much in control. And we can really get going here. Yeah, there we go. It's like running. Don't run too far now. No, nope, just staying on the spot. Should we try the other side? I think if I just twitch, twitch the chair over and... Now, you could be using a stick or you could just be giving it a go with a footstool, but this is quite nice that we've, we're able to step forward and back and out to the side. When I'm moving my left leg, it's not so coordinated. How about you? When we step forward, it's like preparing for running down a hill. Step out the side and it's like skating. So if you're really at a loss to show off with your dance moves, just put a, t a chair on its side and tell everyone it's, it's just a crazy new Zumba chair workout. How's that? And I'm just going to finish off now. And uh, I'm going to come back to the other chair exercises. And uh, i just put the mass out for the moment. Because we've had already quite a chair workout, I'm just going to... Bring that down a little bit. There we go. Get myself into the screen. Rocking back. I'm going to tuck my toes under. See, so just tuck my toes under. And with that, I've got my heels angled out, toes a little narrower. So we'll go back and we can stretch out the toes. And we're enjoying that stretch around the front and top of the kneecap. Most of us, we will let our backs be low, so it's a little drop there. If you're really tucking your tail and rounding your back, or just see if you can just let your, your belly be heavy and just you know, let it sink down. This is really good configuration for uh, the hip joint, yeah, balancing it out so it, it, it's going to be lasting you about a longer time. All right, we'll add in the glute squeeze, so push, Squeeze, come forward. As I squeeze, if you come forward with a bit of rocket juice, forward we go. Squeeze. So you can get the feel that there's a powerhouse muscle that if you use it, it's very lazy. If you use it, you can boost yourself forward. So squeeze, it's either jelly or it's firm like, a, like concrete almost. Um, but also in this position there's a little, pardon me, squeeze of the ring bearing as well, like squeeze, <laughs> okay, squeeze, and we'll point the toes back, bent knee push up, these heels are pushing together. I'm going to do 10, put your head on the mat like Islamic prayer, and by the time I've done 10 you, you'll have a half an eye on me, you see I'm up to number 3 now. Hands walk forward like a leopard pacing the cage. Forehead on the mat. The heels push as you're lowering to the mat. Okay. It's a beautiful mobilization, heels push together. There's a huge amount of core stability when you push your heels together. Push and lower. Core stability, well, the core of an apple is the center of the apple. Core of the body is the center of the body. We want the core stability because it looks after the lowest two spinal joints and the joints either side of your sacrum. Let's move on. Push on a knee. Tailbone curled up, tilt your hips. Now the small of the back's flat to the mat. And at this moment we can just pause and enjoy that feel. Enjoy your breathing. Listen to your breathing. Hmm. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into a rhythmic change of hands here. And it's a push, one, two, three. Push, one, two, three. Remember to breathe. Push, one, two, three. Push, two, three, four. Push, one, two, three. Push, one, two, three. That's five now. Push, one, two, seven. Push, one, two, eight. Push, one, two, nine. Okay, let's take a little break before we head off to the other side. Is your neck holding out all right? If the worst comes to the worst, we can actually alternate the hand with the hand behind the head and alternate. Okay, so let's just have the hand, and we're just holding in there. The tailbone curls up, and the, and the back is flat to the mat. The lower back is flat to the mat. Are we ready? So push one, two, three. Push one, two, three. That's the third one there. Four and five. Mm, 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 six. Seven and there and eight and nearly there and nine and there and ten. Now pull the wrist off. Long on the mat. It's... Mm -hmm.